So there was one thing that I, it's pretty important, but I forgot to mention it in the last course, is that you know when we when we had the equations for we we wrote down the equation for solid momentum, uh, and we had the stress there. Um, I forgot to mention that that we we also want to remember previously we had defined the effective stress as the stress. This is I J. Stress plus the BO coefficient times the pressure delta IJ. So the stress in those equations, actually what we'll use for the stress in those equations is this guy. And that's because typically what we have for the constitutive model is in terms of the effective stress. I mean, that's what we measure in the lab, right? So we have like C, I, J, K, L, epsilon, K, L, where this constitutive tensor is associated with the response of the saturated material, right? So that's what we measure in the lab, and that's what we'd have as a constitutive model to plug in there, and, and then this is what we'd solve, okay? So that's pretty important. And just one last thing I wanted to get on the recording. Uh, it should have been mentioned last, last lecture.